As Martin Johnson announced his side to face Romania this Saturday alongside his returning captain, it presented the first opportunity for the media to speak to Mike Tyndall following events 11 days ago in Queenstown. The RFU were keen to stress that it was a press conference during which rugby was to be the only topic of conversation. But with the British press keen to put the story to bed with some kind of apology from Tyndall, it was Sky Sports News' Phil Edwards who had the unenviable task of trying to draw something from the Gloucester Centre. His six-foot-four minder never too far away. Mike, uh, since captaining England in that opening game against Argentina, not heard much from you. How have you dealt with the period since then? In all honesty, it must be a bit challenging at times. Not really. Just get on and train, isn't it? Um, disappointed, obviously, you want to play every game. And, um, disappointed that I didn't get a run out last weekend, but you just get down and train, and that's, that's as simple as it is on tour. You, you work hard. And, I hope you get picked by coach every week. You're pretty sure that your game won't be affected in any way by happening in the press team so I'm asking. No. Nope. Your own game. Can't think about that. Well, I hope it's fine. Um, Phil, we've put it to bed. Yeah, you know, we, we've played since then, we're getting on with playing, so it's that, not an issue. I will say that it's very, very important for you as well, both of you, is to supporters as well, someone who travelled a long way. Is there anything you'd like to say to them about that, that Phil, Sunday night line? Phil, night Phil night we're night looking night. forward to a big game this weekend, we're playing Romania. Just a bit of contrition, I think it's all that people are asking for. Just a little bit of explanation about what went Phil, on. Phil, I said, I said to you last week what happened. The guys went out and had a drink. Yeah. Okay. Um, we had that conversation last week. We played a game since then, and we're looking forward to the game this weekend. So, if you've got any questions about that, we'd love to uh, love to hear them and answer them for you. I just think it's only going to prolong this whole matter. Isn't it? We we'd love to move on from it. Well, I think I Phil, we've moved on. Conference. We've moved on. We've played a game. We've got another game this week. I, I said what I said last week in a long press conference about it. Um, and we've, moved, we've moved on for it. For England's final match at the Otago Stadium before heading to Auckland, where they will face Scotland, Mark Cueto makes a welcome return to the wing following his stiff back. In a side that fields seven changes, Steve Thompson comes back at hooker, with Alex Corbisiero making his first start of the World Cup alongside him. Lewis Deacon and Tom Croft return to the pack, and Johnny Wilkinson is preferred at fly half. Kickoff on Saturday evening in Dunedin is 6pm, 7am in the UK.